Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome back once again to TransWest Truck Trailer RV of Frederick, Colorado. I'm Mark Love, and today I'm pretty excited to show you this brand new 2023. It's a Bay Star 3124 model. Now, every four, five, six years, models go through what they call life cycle changes. So this year, the Bay Star uh, went through its life cycle change, and there's a lot of improvements. Uh, we'll go over them as we walk around. First of all, there are three new colors, both inside and outside. Uh, new front rear cap, back uh, cap, and just a host of things inside that, that really make this a great gas coach. And as we get into the engine and inside a little more, I'll talk about the difference of the gas and diesel and why you might select to go this route than a, uh, a low-end diesel product. Um, let's go ahead and get started on the outside. Uh, first of all, uh, this is the Burma paint job. Great new paint job. Uh, right here, by the way, is a flag holder. There's a little flagpole, so when you want to fly your Michigan flag this week and root them on against Ohio State, feel free to. Uh, this has got a carefree awning. Uh, great awning. Um, that actually has the aluminum encased uh, cover on it, so it doesn't get wet. It doesn't rot away as you go. As we walk down the side here, now, first of all, as long as we're up front, let's take a quick look underneath. This is the, uh, well, I guess that latch, so we're not going to get in, but it is the uh, Ford 7.3 liter gas engine. Uh, this has got uh, 350 uh, horsepower and 468 foot pounds of torque. Um, Ford has made engines for the RV business for a long time. In fact, the V10 used to be about the only gas engine six or eight years ago. This uh, big block V8, better engine, more pep to it, uh, just, just a great platform. And like I say, much less expensive than going the diesel route. So if you can get by with 5,000 towing, this is a good, uh, good way to go. As we walk down the uh, passenger side here, uh, three-way camera system. You got one in the back, two on the side. There's a new switch up on the deck that you can toggle between those very easily. We do have a 32-inch uh, Samsung TV out here, and that will pull out and kind of tilt whatever uh, direction you want it to go. We got our outside radio also. And then in these storage compartments, a couple of things I really like. First of all, if you look up in here, they provided more access for storage up here uh, above your chassis rails. And I like this. That's a great improvement there because storage space is always valuable. We do have an option for a 2000 watt Xantrex inverter. And this has the six six volt AGM batteries with it, along with solar prop. Let's move down a little more. This, you actually have access to your dump valve there for your water tank. And that is your fresh water tank right behind it. One thing about these compartment doors, we've talked about them before. They changed them a little bit this year, put, went with a different bulb seal, seal, and they close very smoothly. These are the same doors basically you're going to see on their diesels. The people that build the King Air, the Essex, the Dutch Star, uh, next coach in line could be this Bay Star. It's the same people using 16 inch on center framing, the full piano hinge doors. They just do a great job going back to the slogan, when you know the difference, you will look at a new mar. Couple more storage compartments here. And if you look up above again, you have some long pass through space, which is uncommon in a gas coach. The nice thing about that, maybe you've got fly rods or fishing poles or things that, you know, they can't be real big, but you don't want to have to break them down. You've got some place to put them in there. And then again here, a little bit more storage compartment. Each compartment has a light you can turn on. You've got a, uh, a holding tank here, probably a black or a gray tank, and your tanks do have the uh, 110 heaters on them for better cold water, uh, cold weather use. This is our 5500 gas generator. It pulls off the fuel tank so you, you really never run out of fuel for your generator. And 
before I forget, we walked by it here, but we've got a new, uh, this is the Truma AquaGo, and this is a continuous water heater. So it runs on propane. Uh, two, three people can shower back to back without running out of hot water. It's just a great system, and you see a lot of coaches using that AquaGo now. One more compartment back here, and again, we have storage, and you look up there again, and you've got more pass-through. So I think they did a great job improving the storage, the outside storage this year. So we come around the back, new look on the back. This has a fiberglass roof, uh, dual pane, frameless tinted windows throughout, like all gas coaches. You have your two inch receiver rated at 5,000 pounds of towing, and you do have your seven way plug here. Ladder is an option, and I like it when they put it on there. There is a 25 watt uh, solar panel up there to keep your chassis battery charged, and it's also prepped for more solar. If you want to add, you know, a couple of 170 watt panels, it's all set to do that up there. Coming around the, the driver's side, the first thing I want to point out, I've talked about it before, but look at this slide out. This is a true flush wall slide out, meaning the face of the trim tucks inside the wall. The nice thing about that, it's quieter when you go down the road, you don't hear the wind noise, but if you've got a driving rain and your fascia overlaps this way, that rain can be driven in there around the seal and actually get into the coach. This is a much better system. Again, the exact same slide out system, basically you're gonna see on a, on a King Air. Okay, under here we have our 50 amp cord. And that is a 50 foot cord with your surge protector and crossover switch in there. And you get a little bit more storage if you want to use it. This one's just an open storage compartment. And uh, like I say, from the other side, you can see that passes through if you have smaller items that you can put up in the top there. Over here, we've just got a little storage tank. Uh, you know, you, you could put your sewer hose or, or gloves or oil or something in there. And then that's uh, your fuel fill. This is our water compartment, and uh, you have your, your sprayer, you know, your outside shower, whole house filter, power fill for your fresh water tank, and then you have uh, your city connection, plus your, your black tank rinse is all right there. You also have a switch here for your water pump. That's really convenient when you're doing things by yourself. So you don't have to keep running in and out of the coach or have somebody in there helping you to turn the water pump on. And you can see this compartment extends down a little bit to this next door. Uh, that's where you can put your, your sewer hose down through. And you've got your dump valves up there. So they are in somewhat of an enclosed heated area. And then over in this compartment, you can see we've got our uh, winterization tube there and this is actually quite a long compartment that you can access from from three different doors the middle one's primarily just storage but you know your your folding chairs and your longer things you can get in here quite easily and then over in this compartment this is our battery tray like i said this has six six volt agm basically golf cart style batteries And then one final compartment here has got our propane tank. That's like a 60 uh, pounder, it's a big one. And you do have a, a propane uh, cook surface in there. And of course your water heater and furnace also run on propane. Okay, while we're here, I'll give you the stock number. This one is 5N221782. Like I said, I think this one arrived yesterday. So we're still going through it, but just a great looking coach. I love the colors and all the changes they made. Uh, let's go inside and take a look. Now, I left the, uh, the full wall slide in to kind of show you what it's like when you get in there. Why don't you go ahead, Jody, and, and move up by the seats and I'm gonna walk back into the bathroom.
So again, this is the Burma color. Uh, as we go through here, I'll talk a little bit more about the new fascia, the new accent lights, just everything they've done to upgrade it, countertops, backsplashes, wallboard and everything. But a lot of people like to see how it travels. Uh, even though the bedroom slides out, this is the part you're going to be going through. The one thing about this particular floor plan, I, I love most everything about it, but when the slide's in, this bathroom door, it is hinged in the middle, so it opens wide enough for me to get in here, but a very large person might have more of a problem. It's no trouble to bump this out for five seconds, you know, go out six or eight inches, and then you can open the door the whole way. But I just wanted you to get a look at what you're working with when you're traveling down the road. If you have pets, if you have kids, things like that. Uh, there's plenty of room to get through, plenty of room to get into the refrigerator, make yourself a sandwich, uh, whatever you want. And then I'm going to go ahead and open up the slide, and this is where a lot of our uh, controls are. You can see your Xantrex inverter. Uh, that's set up for your wine guard, although there is not a satellite system with it, it is prepped for one. And then I'm going to go ahead and put that slide out. Again, this is a full wall slide. Also, if you, if you look back up here, as you come in the door, you've got your uh, battery disconnect for your house battery. Step switch so the steps don't keep going in and out. This is your, your AquaGo, the Truma Control. And again, that's an on-demand type of continuous hot water. Awning lights, wine guard. We've got our power control system. And then again, our, our Xantrex inverter here. Everything's conveniently located as you walk in the coach. Now. I want to go over some of the things up front and on the dash here. And in fact, that's why I've, I've closed these blinds so we don't get uh, as much reflection. This is a whole new dash design, and I think they did a great job with it. Uh, let me go ahead and turn this on. Now, first of all, we get the, uh, the nine inch monitor here on our screen and uh, give it a second and this will power on here. Um, yeah. Oops, there we go. Give it a minute to power up. A uh, couple of nice additions. They put a, a phone charger right over here on this side. Be careful when you put that up there because your emergency flashers are right here behind it. Over on this side, battery boost, your gen start, and I like having it right at the dash. A lot of gas coaches don't. Um, your overhead fans there, and then you've got your dome lights, and then your other lights and, and automotive controls. Uh, nice glass dash here. You look over here at your monitor, and uh, you notice this is the Xera uh, radio system, and they are set up for Cirrus. And in fact, you can hear it's playing, but they don't give it to you for free. This is just an offer to get you to subscribe to it. Uh, you can scroll through. You have Apple CarPlay also. Uh, here's your camera. And again, you've got three-way camera. And what I like is you have a switch right here. Let's see. That's going to toggle me through my three cameras. So while you're driving, you don't have to look for it in the program. It's right there, easy to uh, access. This button here, by the way, is for our blackout shade up front. Uh, let's turn that down a little bit. Get back to our, our monitor here. So you can Bluetooth in your phone. Uh, uh, equalizer, your AV in, car info, you might want to keep track of your trip information and, and stuff like that. Uh, and then your settings here. But very easy to use. Nice interface, large screen. And again, that is your, your backup monitor also. Um, they just did a, a really nice job with this cab. Over here on the wheel, you actually have your uh, diagnostics at your dash. So, uh, you know, tell you how many miles you've gone outside temp. You can scroll through this, trip one, trip two. Uh, 
go into the main menu, all your settings right here, and then right below it, we have our cruise control settings, so easy to turn on and off, set, uh, accelerate, decelerate, just, you know, really comfortable. They also went with William Berg uh, furniture this year, and this is a very comfortable seat, couple of armrests. And even though it's a gas coach, I could get very comfortable and drive a long time. And I wanted to talk just a minute about the difference between a, this gas coach and people that might be considering a smaller engine, lower price diesel. Now, the Ford V10, is, or the V8 uh, now, but the old V10 was always a peppy engine. And this big block V8 is even a better engine. It does give you 5,000 pounds towing. And a lot of people think they have to get a diesel to go into the mountains in Colorado. Now, the nice thing about the diesel, they reach their maximum torque at about 1,500 to 2,000 RPMs at a much lower level. On a gas coach, they reach their maximum torque at uh, higher RPMs. So if you're going up Vail Pass or Eisenhower Tunnel and you're towing a car or something behind you, you got to keep your RPMs up to three or 4,000. You can see you don't redline to 5,500. And if you're not the type of person that either uses your tow haul mold here, this little button locks out the overdrive, or you manually downshift to third or second or first or whatever you need, you have to keep those RPMs up. Now, if you're not driving 10,000 miles a year and taking trips where you need that diesel all the time, a gas coach is sufficient for most people. You have the room, uh, instead of spending maybe four or $500,000 on a diesel, you get into a brand new one like this for about half of the price. And what Numar has done since they made the Canyon Star a front end diesel, they've stepped up the trim level on the base star. This is their top line gas coach right now. And I just like all the improvements they made, especially this dash. While we're here, I'm going to demonstrate our table here. So this is a nice feature if a couple of people are going to sit here and eat. Now, this chair will spin around the same as the passenger chair. But you can see how easy that is to set this table up. And then it moves right back in. Now, over here in the passenger seat, again in Williamsburg, you do have a uh, let's see. You do have a footrest here. So it makes it kind of comfortable. You can have your, your table there. And right here, I'll, I'll show you the device later, but this is a holder for a tablet, for your iPad or you know your phone or something like that. So they make it really comfortable for the passenger. Okay, let's move on back to the kitchen right now. First of all, get a shot of this. There's good storage here under the sink. This is convenient, not only access to the space there, but as you walk in the door, sometimes you don't have to go all the way into the kitchen to get something out. So I like what they've done right here. This does have the dual stainless steel undermount sink. Plenty of room here. New plumbing hardware for 2023. New countertops, backsplash, wallboard. Again, the Burma color, and this is the, uh, the Arctic maple uh, cabinetry. Uh, just really a nice, nice looking coach all the way around. And then over here, we have our three burner propane stove. Now this lid folds back nicely, gets up out of the way. And if you look at the burners here, this is what they called the sealed burner stove. And on a propane stove, this is what you want. They're the higher end one. It keeps the debris from getting down in there, so it makes it much easier to clean. And I've always liked cooking over gas because you can control your heat better. Okay, over here we've got some more access to the storage underneath the sink. A little bit of a compartment here for scrubbies or whatever. We have full, four full pull-out drawers here. This one's just a little shorty because of the way it's designed. And these are all soft clothes. And then over here under the oven, you get three 
very large drawers. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, this is the little device that you can put in right here. And it's made to hold a tablet or a phone or something like that. So kind of a nice convenience for the passenger. And again, all soft clothes here. We have our convection microwave. And again, this is all packaged the way it comes from the factory. Uh, just came in yesterday. We haven't finished going through it completely. Up here we have some nice storage. The shelves over here are adjustable. And then we've got a deep compartment there. Now, a couple other changes they made this year. This is an 84 inch ceiling. They added four inches in height. It gives you taller compartments all the way around. And it gives you some bigger windows also. Uh, we'll show you those when we, when we get over to the dinette area. Again, that is a good size compartment. So many times, the one above the refrigerator, it's just big enough to put your spices or something, but uh, extra height, it's deep. And then speaking of the refrigerator, we do have the Norcold. Uh, this is the three-way 12 volt 110 or propane with an ice maker in it. And this is a 10 or 11 cubic footer. So for the propane uh, refrigerator, this is good size. Okay, let's take a look over on this side. And again, new fascia, new trim, uh, accent lighting. They just did a great job on this. This wood grain look here is really quite ornate, and I really like it. Uh, these do have the day-night shades throughout. So you have both the manual screen and then your blackout shades. And I'm going to go ahead and show you this uh, couch also. This is similar to the fold and tumble, but I like the way it makes out into a bed. Very easy. And just flip this down. I actually prefer these over your air mattress bed. And it is a queen size bed. And this is actually very comfortable. After a day of skiing, I'd have no problem passing out right there. And then to put it back up is actually pretty quick. You do have, uh, what, two seat belts or three maybe back there. And it's just that fast and easy. There we go. Now let's take a look at our storage up here. You notice these three are open all the way. That's about 16 inches deep in there. So a lot of room. And then last year, this used to have cabinets that went all the way across. But because of the taller ceiling, and uh, they put bigger windows in here, I like having this large window right here at your dinette. It gives you a great view. Look at that, I can see the snow-covered Rockies out there. This will also convert very easily into a sleeper. It rests on these cleats down here. And also new for the Bay Star this year, select floor plans have an option for an overhead bunk if you need some more sleeping. There is storage underneath here. You might not even know that looking at it. You don't really see a handle, and, uh, but there is easy to access storage. Uh, let's move back to the bathroom now. Now I'm just gonna open this up and, and let you get in and look around. Keep in mind, a 3124 is only 31 feet, 10 inches in length. So this is a relatively short coach, but you can get in there and take a look. I suppose the one drawback is the bathroom is smaller. You know, when you're down under 32 feet, that's typically the case. But look at the surround for the shower. 
that's a great looking one piece surround. And uh, once you back out, I'm going to step in there and show you how much height you have. With the 84 inch ceilings and the, uh, the skylight overhead, I'm about 5'8". I would say a seven footer could stand in here. There's plenty of room, you know, a little bit tighter because of the radius uh, design on it, but plenty of headroom there. There we go. Here's something else that's new for 2023. They put in a 10 inch monitor panel. Now, this one here, you can monitor your batteries, turn on your water pump, your tank, heater, so forth, uh, all of your lights. Another new feature is the auto gen start. Now that's something typically you would find in the, uh, the diesels, especially the higher end, but not a lot of gas coaches have this. So this is a nice uh, addition. You can set this to come on at a certain time. You can set this according to your house or chassis batteries if you want it to turn on. But I think one of the most important is your HVAC. You can set it according to temperature. So if I'm gonna go out for a walk and, and leave my dog in here or something and it's gonna hit 90 degrees, I want that air conditioner to turn on automatically once it gets up above 75. You can program that all right here. So a lot of nice features. You also have your HVAC controls. Now, uh, you know, we, we've got this off right now, but you do have heat pumps on your air conditioners. So you can scroll through there, two zones, living room and bedroom. And then of course I can control all of my lights from here also. But again, uh, there's a center panel on all 2023 base stars, a 10 inch panel with some great improvements. While I'm standing here on this floor, I have to talk about it. This is an upgraded, it's the plank uh, vinyl floor as opposed to the standard vinyl flooring. And with these colors, it just looks great. And the one piece sheet going all the way back into the bedroom. Okay, let's look at a little bit of the uh, pantry and storage here. Uh, we actually have two compartments right here. This one's got four nice full pull-out drawer, or five, excuse me, pull-out drawers. And then right next to it here, this could be a linen closet, it could be more pantry. It's just a lot of great storage. Coming back into the bedroom here, we have a, a TV across from our bed and a larger wardrobe area here. So this is a bigger compartment. This happens to be the cushion you would use on the dinette when you convert that into a sleeper. Underneath we have a couple of shallower drawers right here. And then below these, we've got three bigger drawers. And then right here, this is typically for your video components. You notice there's no Blu-ray player. Uh, so many people are using streaming services. Satellites are almost going to be obsolete before many years, but you do have a, a compartment there to put in if you wanted to bring your Blu-ray or, uh, you know, get a satellite, uh, direct TV or something. Now, this does have the, the Wi-Fi Denali in it, so you do have your signal wherever you're going. Okay, over here under the bed, we get a little bit more storage. This is a full-length king bed. On both sides, you have a pedestal, got a little storage under there. You also have USB ports and a 110 outlet. Maybe you have a, a sleep apnea machine. But you can also uh, put your sleep machines up here. You do have a 110 plug. You have a couple of outlets here to, to drop your line through if you want to. And then when you lay here, there's actually control panels. So I can turn on and off my, uh, my reading lights. I can actually do the entire uh, all lights off from here if you get into bed and have forgotten to turn them off. 
One other thing back here, I kind of was curious what these were when I came in. It's actually where your, your 110 breakers are. And you have your, uh, your house fuses over here, 12 volt. Okay, again, look at that, that height there. That's really a great improvement. And then you do have a window in the back, which is always a nice feature. Let me see, what am I forgetting? There's bound to be a couple more things. Uh, Auto Gen Star, uh, new plumbing hardware, Williamsburg furniture throughout. The inclined sofa, footrests, or footstools are an option there. Overhead bunk is an option. Um, the wireless charger built in. And uh, yeah, the taller ceilings. Oh, there's a new headboard back here. Nice wood trimmed headboard with a fabric panel up there. Like I say, for the for the facelift they did this year, I think it's a great job. For a gas coach, I mean, this is as nice as many of the smaller engine diesels. Hard to go wrong if you don't need that, that 10 or 15,000 pound towing. You can save yourself a lot of money going with a gas coach. Let me give you my contact info. Once again, my name's Mark Love. My cell phone right there, 970-631-0083. Feel free to call or text me with any questions. And if you want to email me, mlove at transwest.com. So once again, 2023 Base Star 3124 model, brand new. Call if you have any questions or want to set up a time to look at it. Uh, we're coming into the holiday season, so I'd like to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving. We will see you next week, and uh, happy trails, my folks. We'll see you next time.